welcome to a new plugin guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. This is actually the third video of the day. Uh, we're covering OMG Drums Urban for Break Tweaker as drum kit add ons for Super Macho Drums, which works with Contact 5, and now Serum. And Serum is unique in that it's not grooves, so it's just called Urban for Serum. And what this is, let me show you real quickly is it's taking the grooves that were created in Break Tweaker. And while we made these, we decided to do bass subs because subs are such a huge part of this genre of music. And a synth sounded like a little, little something to go along with it. And those are samples. So now in Break Tweaker, this is one note and it's that pitch. You can't change the pitch. You could go to the patterns and you can change what note it is for each of these elements, right? But you can't like play melodies and stuff on the keyboard. So it became really clear really early that um, it'd be really cool to have these samples show up in something that you could play. I'm working on a version for Omnisphere that's going to be really cool. But I also made a version and got it done fairly quickly for Serum. And so that same... Uh, that sound is now it's in Serum to play. So you can play. you can play chords with it, all that stuff. The sub, if we go over to Serum, that sub is here. In fact, so there it is in Serum. There it is in Break Tweaker. I tuned it, by the way, so that everything's in tune. Uh, a lot of these patches have hidden oscillator A's and subs. If you need to tune it more, just so you know, if you go to the global page, right here's your tuning for the sample for the noise oscillator. That's closer. So there, now turn this off. Okay. Okay, so basically Serum has all of the subs, all the booms. Some of the subs that you find in the Break Tweaker library came from Serum. I decided since I was doing this early on to use Serum as a sound source. So some of the sound effects, things like, um, where is right here, the Cyber Siren. If you go to the Break Tweaker library, that sound is right here in a groove I did called Man Up. So if you call this up and uh, Right? So here's that sound as a sample. And then if you go to Serum, here's that sound. As a synth, you can see what I did. You can... You can mess it up, make all sorts of other variations of that type of sound. So, all of the subs, all the leads, all the plucks, we'll go through these one at a time. There's 128 patches, so there's a lot. Um, these plucks, all these things. They have a unique character to them because they're samples. They have reverb, they have processing and stuff in the samples. So it's a very different character than most sounds you're going to find coming out of Serum. I'm... Right? That's not a sound that you would normally get out of Serum because of the, the personality of Serum is very much in your face and kind of a stark, bright, bold. It's not really known for its pads and stuff. So a lot of the things in this library are samples which gives it a whole cool different personality than other libraries you might have for Serum. So that's kind of the case with all my libraries for Serum. I kind of wanted to do the other because it does the in-your-facing so well, and there's so many things in the factory patches um, that we did. Some of these were patches I created, so I love that character, but this is kind of giving it something else. And for, for the urban genre, for dance, hip-hop, pop, that kind of this kind of subby 808 snappy stuff, 
you want warmer stuff. So that is in here. And then on top of this, I have three libraries that I can't really convert into Serum because they require more than one sample. Um, Mega Magic Guitars, Mega Magic Cello, Mega Magic Viola. A viola sample or a cello sample, just a single sample for the most part, it's going to fall apart within about three or four notes up and down the keyboard range and then sound like, you know, caca. So I decided to, uh, there are some sounds that you can from Mega Magic Guitar um, work really well in here. Things like, and it's kind of cool to have both the dry. And if you want totally dry, there's reverb and there's delay turned on, but you can. And then right next to it, the MM is the Mega Magic, which has all this nice reverb in the samples. These kind of sounds with an urban groove. Mm. Awesome stuff. So there's guitars, and then there's cello, and there's viola sounds. And we'll get to those when we get to them. So there's 128 patches. Let's go through them. Uh, like I pointed out, a lot of them have stuff hidden on layer, on oscillator. I'm so used to atmosphere. On layer A. And subs. So you have those you can add to the samples. And this is a really cool, like a brassy. If you have a, oh, I don't have my groove over here anymore. Rats. If you have, well, let's make a groove real quick. So if we call it break tweaker, and we want to say, we want to choose the, one of the, Turn off sync, and that way we can set it by the tempo in our sequencer. Play. Okay, so I'm playing with the different notes in Braid Tweaker that make the different pattern variations to make a fun groove. Quantize it really quick. It's got that kind of vibe. And again, turn on A and sub. have even more <laughs> to layer with it than what it comes with okay and that's five notes of unison if you make it uh, even more and we could take the noise out of the filter do that pop the envelope a little higher So you can go all sorts of cool places like that with these patches. Um, some of these came from OMG drums that we did a year and a half ago for Break Tweaker. There's uh, OMG Volume 1 and Volume 2 for Omnisphere. But I hadn't put these sounds into uh, any library for Serum. And they work great with this. Uh, NATO made these sounds. So I talked to NATO real quick. I said, hey, I want to put some of these sounds from then with the stuff we've made now. And he's like, sure. So. This is cool for it. And again, 
I tucked a thing in here and I, I did some really cool sync uh, with the uh, LFO one. <laughs> Sub, but it's definitely sub. <laughs> okay. Again, there's hidden. I'm not going to go through every one of these 128 patches and turn on the hidden oscillator A's and subs, but. So it's just synthesis inside of serum. So this is more the personality of serum you're used to seeing and hearing. It's great. It's, it's right in there. Mustard. And we have all the... things up very easily now the subs are just massively huge be careful with your speakers I listen this is a sample cool personality too they just fit right into a mix so nicely. <laughs> Bullhorn. And again, there's... Following it. Booms. These are all the booms that you hear inside of the grooves for brake tweaker and uh, for super macho drums, contact five. There's two other versions of this library brake tweaker and then super macho drums. I've got two videos before this on those, so I'm not going to go into all that. But, but, but these are those booms. a little bit of fuzz. Now these are synthesis. These are ones that I made in Serum and then sampled for the groove. So some mid frequency kind of stuff if you want to have a more unique kind of a sub uh three four this has a cool unison so it's using four voices in unison Here into the chant. It's using this to chant, but if you want, just turn it down really soft. It's right in there.
record that as new audio and uh, new triangles. If you want to be faster, go for just your quarter notes. It's all about giving you guys sounds to play with and make different things. Here's a sound from OMG Volume 1 that I included. Reverse cymbal. This is cool. So it's normally the sample was up here, but three or four octaves down. Turn this down. Envelope one and I wish I had a voice. I can't sing. I can't rap. It's just not my gift. But uh, if I could, I hear all sorts of stuff I wish I could do. Here's a quick oh, jet crashing. Yeah, go by and then have a big impact. Uh, Cyber Siren. This is the patch that I made for Man Up. And it's kind of fun. This is doing a trick where I'm using an LFO on the reverb. Let's see, where's it at? Right here. By changing the size of the reverb, it does this really cool, strange stuff. It's like, um, besides Omnisphere, I think Sarah might be one of the very few synths that lets you get in to change and modulate reverb parameters and stuff like this inside of a synth patch. So it's lovely. Uh, gotta have the chant crowd. A variation on the kind of cool vocal noise in the background. Laser. Now this is serum synthesis, so you know. Every mother thinks their kids are beautiful. Somebody's going to think that's amazing. So, Ocean Wave. This is from a vacation I got to take a couple years ago to Maui. And it's one of the dark black rock beaches in the southwest corner of Maui. I went there one morning by myself, did some photography that was nice. And I had a field recorder with me, so I recorded the ocean. And then processed it with reverb and <laughs> EQ and stuff here. So, uh, oh, this is a cool pack. This is another one from OMG Drums Volume One. It's a nice long sample, so it goes a long time. Feel it. You feel it? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Now there's scratch and scritch. So if you want to have two serum to do the up and down scratch. Now, the reverb is in the sample. 
you want to get rid of that, it's really easy. You just go over here, bring the decay short. Hello. Oh. Turn off the reverb. <laughs> so we'd want to go to the effects. This should be set. It wasn't set. Ah, shame on us. Now it's totally dry. So you could... Do that type of thing just using the envelopes and turn down the reverb that we forgot to set at zero oops <laughs> um, vocal shout So that's the effects and basses. Now we get to some fun stuff. There's, um, these are from Mega Magic Guitars. Volume two was Strat and Jazz Guitar, um, single samples across the keyboard because those more pure sounds like a sine wave almost, but with one sample will work across the keyboard. So I included some of those into this library. So there's. Cool mute. Um, I didn't do this, but if you wanted, I think the distortion. There's not really an amp simulator effect inside of Serum. Maybe there should be. Hello, Steve. What do you think? Um, here's some more guitars. So if we have the groove playing, let's do this. I'm going to go to the groove in Break Tweaker. I'm going to modify it a little bit by taking out the melody. Right? So it's muted. And now let's play it. And I'm going to turn down the boom. That way I can play some guitar, type things, whatever key I want. See how these work in a really cool vibe, you know. I mean, they're so awesome to work with. Um, here's some more. Like you could take this, let's let's write a song really quick, right? One, two. So we have a little catchy hooky thing. And I'm gonna use a command in logic. Other Call this version of Serum. Let's find a sub that works really good. Now, because it's bleeding over on notes. Let's take it spliffing down to one note. And set to mono.
Let's see if that worked. Because I'm using Break Tweaker and Serum, which are two CPU heavier <laughs> plugins, the computer is kind of coughing and choking just a little bit. So if you bounce those down as audio, now your computer is free for you to start writing with additional things. But the sounds work really, really well together. I'm really happy with how well these all work. So here's New Jazz Dry. If you want to play more guitar y instead of chordals, I kind of. So in between guitar and keyboard kind of thing. But if you want to do more guitar, just take the release of envelope one and But since it's a single sample and it doesn't totally sound like a guitar, I kind of took it a little bit differently. Uh, Mega Magic version with bad notes and all. Um, In the sample. It's got this cool resonance sweep in the sample. Cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're still playing our song. So if we mute the good song part. You know, ready for a cool track. Um, Another nice guitar, beautiful. Butimus, uh, dry. Then the Mega Magic. And the Mega Magics were made, if you're not familiar with the series, I've got quite a few libraries now using the concept of baking the reverb into the sample. So that way it doesn't get muddy when you have if you had this much reverb on a sound, it would sound really muddy, but here. Since it's only interacting with its own note, not the other notes around it, it never gets muddy, which is nice. You can... Chords. Different hits. Big one. go there's all sorts of fun stuff some jazz snippets from the mega magic library you get the idea a little bendy up thing I love this one. If you hear where to take it, then you're in there. Sometimes sad. One sample, this is from the OMG volume, uh, OMG library for Break Tweaker. And it played a library like that. It played a melody like that. Up here. But here it's across the whole keyboard. So, sort of piano <laughs> for, for Serum. <laughs> Variations on really. Again, this is samples. It's 
That's why it doesn't sound like serum per se. So this was one of the grooves in Break Tweaker. Let's find it real quick. Uh, it's down here. Uh, Smooth Psycho. There's just a single sample with delay on it. So that's this sound. original is like that on the original track that I was kind of getting inspired by but that's the sound a little more processing in the reverb and so forth more keyboardy to take it if you I love this brass sound it's coming This is fun. This is just synthesis. To because of the envelope I'm using, uh, because of the fill, and because of the filter type I'm using, you can get different characteristics. More French horny, trombone, or trumpet, just by changing this one parameter. So it's kind of fun. Uh, smooth lead. And again, you could. You could change this to any of all the waveforms in here. And make all the leads you need. Then we get to pads. Now, these are from Mega Magic. This is cello. Now this is, when I got done making this, because Mega Magic Cello is actually solo cello, but I layered it with other cello samples from the library and got a nice thick detuned unison. So one sample, just one note, I think. Somewhere in there is like the original pitch. That's E4, so here. So then, So you have these lush pads. There. Stuff like that to play with. Um. Again, there's oscillator A in here. To play with to thicken it up a little bit if you want. Okay. Uh, and if you want the envelopes to play faster with these. You might be out of luck because the samples have this attack recorded into them. And there's no sample start, but it plays really nicely. 
You just can't make fast poppy things with it. Um. Okay. Version ones. I'm on the lush side, version two. that type of thing plucks there are so many plucks and this is a great library just so much fun stuff to play with and different character when you're dealing with samples uh, it's the whole range so you get all these different types of samples with different personalities it kind of gives you a whole Library of Unique. Isn't that great with a reverb in it? Okay, we got that. We got sonar, more pure. of processing that smoothness has this cool from the reverb okay strings here's pizzicato it doesn't sound like a true pizzicato but it had a cool character You set your pitch bin to not be 12, but like maybe one. Then you can get more of that kind of Asian flavor. Spiccato. Here's a sample from Mega Magic Viola. Kind of cool. Uh, pizzicato scape is something that can sound from one sample across the whole keyboard. Pretty cool. Um, detuned. And this is synthesis, so... So cool. Yeah, it sounds like French horns. Yeah, kind of weird up there. Definitely, definitely in that range, it sounds good, but don't play up high. <laughs> Big stabby things. One more whistle. This is synthesis. Okay, 
So that's the library. 128 truly unique sounds for urban, chill, down tempo, pop. Uh, it can go a lot of places. Film, cinematic kind of stuff in there as well. So it's a good library. Really kind of cool, cool all over the place, but kind of in a similar flavor. And everything works just magically together. So hope you dig it. Uh, if you buy it, thank you. If you've been evaluating it and you're going to use it, please buy your own copy. That's the right thing to do. Um, I get to do this full time. This is all I do. So I thank you for your support. Enjoy and we'll see you soon.